So, uh, what else is going on? So, yeah, I'm a pale guy. I live, I live in Los Angeles now. I made that move. Yeah, not a good move. Not for the pale people, not a good move. Uh, first couple weeks, even my friends are like, hey, you need to get that taken care of. I'm like, what? They're like, your face. You need to do that spray tan or something. Which, I don't know about you, that just made me look like I stuck my face in a bowl full of Cheetos or something. <laughs> Which I've done, it's delicious, but it's an odd look. Oddly presidential. <laughs> Did that let some stress out of the room? I don't know if that's what is holding us back. That's one thing we can agree on. He's got a weird orange face. So. But uh, I got a girlfriend, sorry everybody. I don't wanna dangle this meat in front of you. <laughs> girlfriend is a Canadian, which I didn't know she's Canadian. She's got a tattoo of a maple leaf on her leg. I just thought she was a big fan of Autumn or something, but, <laughs> but that's what they do. When you're born in Canada, they will brand you with the maple leaf. Just so you can get back in without waiting in line. It's like a Disney pass. And. Uh, <laughs> I feel like some of you guys are gonna take this whole show way too seriously, I'm not sure. But she's, uh, she, yeah, she's, she's half black, she's half Scottish, and she's Canadian, which is great, but it makes me feel like I bring nothing to the table, you know? <laughs> I'm like old fashioned white guy, like not even of this century, you know? Like it's not cool to look like me in 2017, I'm aware of that, you don't have to. You don't have to worry about hurting my feelings. I know that I look like somebody from uh, the past coming to give you a message about the future. <laughs> it's okay. But Drew Carey Jr. in 2017, not a good look. Drew Carey doesn't even look like this anymore. He changed it up. And I was trying to think, maybe it's just not my time. The chubby cheeks, pale, you know? When was it cool to look like me? I researched it, sir, because, you know, it's part of my job. Uh, so I went back, not the 20s, not the 30s. You gotta go back. Last time it was cool to look like me, I pinpointed it, was Europe in the 1600s, yeah. <laughs> I missed my prime time window to be cool by about 400 years. <laughs> And that's just because the bar was very, very low, you know? Everyone had bubonic plague and scurvy and typhoid. He had chubby cheeks back then, it was impressive to women, you know? Oh, I bet that guy's a king, he's got a castle, he can afford meat. But now looking like this, 2017, just sad white guy, you know? I'm allergic to hypoallergenic shampoo, that's how bad the earth wants to get rid of me. Subscribe to Drybar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.